Streaming live now on News8000.com. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now, this weekend. Right now at 10, an influx of holiday donations is helping a local food pantry share the wealth. Good evening and thank you for watching News 8 Now this weekend. I'm Emily Haugen. That is our top story. The La Crosse Wafer Food Pantry held a drive through pop-up event this morning. News 8 Now's Anna Fisher was there and says the event drew quite a crowd. Anna? Emily, cars of families lined up and down the street at Wafer Food Pantry this morning, waiting to get their pick at fresh and shelf-stable foods. Today's event was special thanks to excess holiday donations from area businesses. Wafer Mobile Pantry Manager Tony Myers says the need is huge in La Crosse County. We do pop-up events every once in a while at different locations around town at, or through La Crosse County just to help advertise what we're all about and this is significant, it's huge. Myers says Wafer is seeing between three and four hundred more families per month than previous years. He hopes this special event will help spread the word to those in need. Emily, back to you. Thanks, Anna. Donations made to Wafer at Rotary Lights will go towards stocking the shelves for Wafer's weekly clients. And there's a new sheriff in town in Milwaukee, and she's breaking the glass ceiling. Though she's been on the job since October, she was publicly sworn in yesterday. Stephanie Rodriguez was there for the moment. She took her oath of office. Sheriff Danita Ball made history by becoming the first Milwaukee County female sheriff and by becoming the first black female sheriff in Wisconsin history. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Celebratory high five for Sheriff Danita Ball. That's my sheriff. Leaving her name in the history books. For the first time in over 187 years, a woman has been elected sheriff. The importance of the moment, her moment, not lost on our new sheriff. There were other people that came before me who paved the way so I can stand on this stage. For one woman, the great niece of Milwaukee's first black police officer, seeing a friend make history was unforgettable. I have a lot of um, pride and respect for, for that because I know for Sheriff Ball, she is a woman who has a heart of service and I truly believe that. During her inaugural speech, the sheriff addressed the record-breaking violence in Milwaukee. Do we want the same thing to happen this year? No. Then we got to do something different. But she tells us she's optimistic 2023 will be different if there is collaboration. I don't think we're going to have the year that we had uh, last year in the last three years. I, I truly don't. But uh, it takes all of us working together. The sheriff ready to leave her stamp on the county. But now it is my time. <laughs> In Milwaukee, Stephanie Rodriguez, CBS 58 News. Congratulations. And a member of the Minnesota Air National Guard became the first Air Guard flight nurse in the country to receive the Distinguished Flying Cross Medal today. Major Katie Lenning was among the first members of a critical air care transport team to arrive at a Kabul airport after a suicide bomber caused massive casualties. This happened during the pullout of American forces in Afghanistan in August 2021. I was very surprised um, and just honored to represent nursing. Uh, know that there's been so many nurses that have done amazing things and just really honored to represent the Minnesota National Guard. Under constant fire, Katie led her team to evacuate 22 multinational and joint service wounded and kept them alive during the eight-hour flight to a medical facility. It was the single largest aeromedical evacuation airlift in Kabul Coalition Hospital history. And over in Hawaii, a magnificent explosion. Lava from Kailua spurted high into the air and spread out across about 300 acres of the Hawaii volcano's summit crater floor, creating a spectacular sight as the mountain began erupting again after a few weeks hiatus. Experts say it's not dangerous and offers a beautiful view. The eruption started in the same place that the September 2021 eruption started in the middle of the lake with a, a fissure and quite soon a lot of the eastern part of the crater floor was covered with new lava and by nightfall the whole crater floor was covered in lava. Kahlua is one of the world's most active volcanoes. This latest eruption started on Thursday, less than one month after it and its larger neighbor, Mauna Loa, went quiet. Kahlua last erupted from September 2021 through mid-December. So Mauna Loa rumbled to life for the first time in 38 years when it erupted for about two weeks starting in late November. Pretty cool.
All right, we're seeing patchy fog out there. Temperatures outside still in the teens. Look at the past few hours. We made it to 22 by the 4 o'clock hour that we hovered right around that 13, 14, 15 degree range uh, throughout the evening hours. And right now we have clear skies, 15 degrees is the current temperature. And with winds out of the southeast at six miles per hour, it feels like six out there. And we're seeing temperatures in the single digits and teens, three in Ladysmith, seven Eau Claire, six in Sparta, 15 lacrosse, as well as Roqua and Prairie du Chien. But you factor in that feels like temperature already down to six degrees and below zero, I should say, in Rochester, five in Preston, six above in lacrosse, seven above in Eau Claire, three above in Ladysmith, the radar scan. Hey, we're seeing a clean sweep across the area. This is gonna get a break as we go into the next few days. There is a small snow chance in the forecast. Now, Emily, coming up in the first one forecast, we're gonna talk about a few things. We're gonna talk about temperatures going back into the mid thirties. We're gonna talk about temperatures barely hanging above freezing. And there's one day next week I'm keeping an eye on as we have snow chances in the forecast. That's coming up in the first one forecast in a few minutes. Over to you. All right, sounds good. Thanks, Eric. You bet. Well, the bluffs are alive with the sound of music this morning. High school show choirs from across the Midwest came to lacrosse today to compete in Viterbo's 101 show choir competition. Music professor at Viterbo, Nancy Allen, says the competition started to help high school students improve their singing technique, and it's only grown since. We started as a clinic as a way to help the high school groups in the area get better. And as that got going, people asked for a competition, so it turned into a competition. But it's been a terrific way for our students to interact with the young students that are attending today. Students also got the chance to perform a solo for a Viterbo professor and receive feedback. And there was plenty to celebrate in the Kickapoo Valley today. It was the 22nd annual Winter Festival in Lafarge, kicking off with a race early in the morning. The Kickapoo Valley Reserve is managed by the state of Wisconsin and the Ho-Chunk Nation. And organizers say it's a wonderful opportunity for people to enjoy the natural world. Just to get people outside and kind of remove those boundaries of, of being able to experience outdoors in all weather. As you can see here, there was even a game called Snow Snake put on by members of the Ho-Chunk Nation. The festival offered something for all ages, including ice hikes, sledding, hiking, dog races, and more. And it was all free to the community. Coming up on News 8 Now this weekend, getting lucky in Wisconsin. Someone in northern Wisconsin is $15 million richer, and they bought that ticket in a town called Luck. More on that later. But first, after days of deliberation, Kevin McCarthy has been elected Speaker of the House. The historic late night vote and what's next for Congress. That's up next on News 8. Stay with us. Bring in the new year with Home Furniture's New Year Sale. Get 10% off sale prices plus no money down, six-year special financing, and free shipping when you spend $4.99. The New Year Sale, going on now, only at Home Furniture. With six crunchy beef tacos plus a pound of potato Olays, our six-pack and a pound is perfect for date night, movie night, thousand-piece puzzle night, camping, tailgates, or any day that ends in Y. Get $2 off the six-pack and a pound, only from Taco John's. One day, I will rock that swimsuit. Your one day is closer than you think. From fresh meals to one-on-one -on -one coaching, Jenny Craig is weight loss made simple. Your one day starts today. As the chief buffet officer here at Pizza Ranch, it's my job to make sure we have the best buffet in the U.S. of A. Impeccable. New record! Wobbler. I'm on it. I don't do it for the glory. I do it for the buffet. More icing. Pizza Ranch, everyone's favorite buffet. Mmm, creamy. Brain freeze. Carl, why? Now at Home Sleep Express, get six-year special financing on any Tempur-Pedic mattress with no money down and no minimum purchase, plus a $300 shopping card with free delivery, setup, and a 120-night guarantee. Six-year special financing on Tempur-Pedic at Home Sleep Express. The news continues on News 8 Now. Expect more. House Leader, or President Biden spoke with House Leader McCarthy today to congratulate him on his victory. In a statement overnight, Biden says he's prepared to work with House Republicans and, quote, to ensure that we're putting the interests of American families first, unquote. The next speaker of the 118th Congress, Kevin McCarthy. After four days, 14 failed votes and a furious Friday night negotiation. For the 15th and God willing final time, Kevin McCarthy. <laughs> the speaker is in the house. 
I knew it took a couple extra days. At one point Friday night, tensions were so high, Alabama Republican Mike Rogers made a move to confront Florida's Matt Gates, one of McCarthy's loudest Republican critics, as a colleague held him back. Madam Clerk, I rise to say, wow. <laughs> but right as it seemed the chamber might leave for the weekend, a breakthrough. The Honorable Kevin McCarthy of the state of California, having received a majority of the votes cast, is duly elected Speaker of the House of Representatives. Four of the six holdouts changed their vote to present, dropping the number required and allowing McCarthy to win. In order to grab the gavel, the new speaker made several concessions, including making it easier for any member to oust him and giving his more conservative Republican opponents two seats on the Rules Committee. He gave up a lot of his powers and influence. Political analyst Larry Sabato. Does anybody believe that Republicans will suddenly reunify when we get to all these controversial policy issues they're planning to cover? Uh, I suspect the fighting will be even fiercer. One issue House Republicans could struggle to compromise on is the debt ceiling. Six holdouts have said that they won't vote for an increase unless it's tied to specific spending reforms, something that could lead to a showdown with the Senate and the White House, which could risk America going into default. And coming up on News 8 Now this weekend, emergency rooms everywhere are seeing an increase in opioid overdoses. We take a look at the possible causes up next. And we have clear skies outside, temperatures are in the teens. We will warm up just a little bit, but the question is how warm will we go? I'll have the answer in the first warm forecast on the other side of the break. Stay with us. Retirement is one of the most important decisions you'll ever make, so you need to get it right. At Gillespie & Associates, we'll design a plan so you can retire on your terms. I'm Private Wealth Advisor Tim Gillespie, and I'm here to help. Save money and sleep better during the PM Mismatch Mattress Sale. Twins starting at $159, full start at $249, and queen pillow tops as low as $399. Shop the Mismatch Mattress Sale today only at PM Sleep Center, giving lacrosse a good night's sleep for over 30 years. News 8 Now and Dairyland Power Cooperative present Our Community Cares. The Pump House presents John Smith Friday and Saturday, January 13th and 14th for an evening of Irish folk music featuring special guests Dan Zabronik, Larry Dalton, and Elisa Smith-Waller. It's time for the Onalaska Show Choir Classic, January 14th at the Onalaska High School Fieldhouse. Show choirs from around the area perform at the Onalaska Show Choir Classic. For more information on these events, or if you'd like to submit an event, visit news8000.com. Want your clothes to smell freshly washed all day without heavy perfumes? Try Downy Light In-Wash Freshness Boosters. It has long-lasting light scent, no heavy perfumes, and no dyes. Finally, a light scent that lasts all day. Downy Light. Welcome to the brand new Holiday Inn Express and Suites. Whether you're here for business, family events, or a weekend getaway, we've got you covered. Overtired, overworked, lay down in one of our super comfy beds. Got kids? Our adjoining rooms are perfect for a restful night's sleep. Let the kids burn off energy in our kiddie pool while you relax in our hot tub. Come check in and check out our brand new Holiday Express and Suites in Onalaska Lacrosse. Would you look at that? That's beautiful. Wow. That's our boy. So proud. Right now, get a sausage McMuffin or sausage biscuit paired with hash browns for just two fifty. Save money and sleep better during the mismatch mattress sale at PM Sleep Center. Choose from over 15 queen mattresses starting at $599 or less. Shop the mismatch mattress sale only at PM Sleep Center. Giving lacrosse a good night's sleep for over 30 years. At Gillespie & Associates, we're invested in this community because it's our community. And it's our mission to help you plan your financial future so you can retire with more confidence. To see if you're on track to your financial goals, call Gillespie & Associates today. The Board Store Home Improvement's family wishes you a happy new year. Visit soon to plan your 2023 home improvement project. It's never too early to dream. Emergency rooms nationwide are seeing a huge increase in opioid overdoses. UW Health estimates that in 2022, nearly 583 people arrived for care related to an opioid overdose. ERs are designed to handle overdoses, but it takes a toll on everyone involved. One UW expert says that people are often unaware how strong those drugs can be. 
people who are using drugs may not be aware that the substances they're using could have fentanyl in them, uh, which results in a much higher rate of uh, overdose due to the significant increased potency. UW hopes to help support more people who struggle with substance use disorders to gain access to treatment. While well, beauty company L'Oreal has unveiled a device to help people with limited arm and hand mobility apply lipstick. The device called Hapta was just rolled out at the Consumer Electronics Show this weekend in Las Vegas. L'Oreal calls it the world's first handheld computerized makeup applicator to give the user a full range of motion. Pretty cool. The device's technology includes real-time sensors and motion controls with custom attachments to help stabilize and level the lipstick when it's brought closer to the mouth. L'Oreal says this new technology is aimed at making beauty more inclusive. All right, well, I know winter is still here and I'm very sad about it, but Eric, can you tell us if it's gonna get a little bit warmer coming up? A little bit, a little bit, I, right there. Okay, a little bit. A little bit. I'll take it. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm hiding because uh, it, it's cold out there. I'm trying to stay warm. So uh, uh, outside right now, hey, we do have a little bit of fog out there. Temperatures outside, clear skies, 15 degrees. Winds are out of the southeast at six miles per hour with that wind out of the southeast at six miles per hour. It actually feels like six degrees out there. In Eau Claire, good evening to you guys. You're seeing a temperature of seven degrees, but you have that calm wind out there. So with the calm wind, your feels like temperature and your ambient temperature are the same. Both at seven, look at your dew point though. It's down to four. So your temperature can get lower than your dew point. So that's pretty much where you're going to be as we go into uh, the next uh, several hours down to about four degrees. So we take a look at the wind chills. We go into your evening and overnight hours. There you go. You can see wind chills going below zero across portions of the area as we go into your Sunday morning and early afternoon hours. By Monday morning, we'll see temperatures in the teens and 20s. By the afternoon hours, we'll see the feels like temperatures going into the 30s. So here's a look at the weather in motion. Here's the grand scheme of things right now. We have a clean sweep across the Cooley region. You see a little bit of cloud cover trying to inch its way in across portions of Juneau and Adams County. Here's the cool front that pushed its way through that uh, kept us in the 20s. As we go into tomorrow, you see this warm front will start to warm up with highs going back into the upper 20s, low 30s, and we'll see temperatures in the mid 30s as we go into this first and middle part of next week. So when you wake up in the morning, there you go. Temperatures down to two below in Lady Smith, one below in Red Wing, otherwise single digits across the majority of the viewing area. Black River Falls, you'll go down to four degrees below zero. So again, that precip chance, nothing to talk about in terms of the weekend. The big story is gonna be cloud cover. It will dissipate as we go to the afternoon hours, only to fire back up again as we go into your evening and overnight hours. But tomorrow, there we go. Temperatures in the 20s and 30s. By the afternoon hours, you see that cloud cover dissipate only to fire back up again Sunday night going into Monday. So the details of the first warm forecast for tonight, eight, eight degrees. Partly cloudy skies, patchy fog overnight. Again, allow yourself extra time to get to your uh, morning commute tomorrow, whether it's church services or a Sunday morning brunch. Uh, make sure you allow yourself extra time. If you're going out tonight, if you have Saturday night shenanigans, make sure you allow yourself extra time to get from point A to point B as well, because fog will be thickening at that time. We'll see a nice calm wind. For tomorrow, 13 degrees by 8 a.m. We'll go to the upper 20s, low 30s by 2 p.m. You'll see the clouds pick up again as we go into the 8 o'clock hour. The next eight days, turn that windshield wiper on. We go to the 30s for Monday, as well as Tuesday and Wednesday. Then we have a ride around freezing Thursday, Friday, Saturday. 37 will be the high as we go into Sunday. Keeping an eye on uh, Thursday, we have that 30% chance of a snow shower in the afternoon and early evening hours. This is one of the things I don't think we're going to see much in terms of accumulation. Not at all. I think the big thing is anything that does fall because we're going to hover right around that freezing mark has a chance to freeze on the road. So again, I don't think the big story is going to be the precipitation as it is going to be that temperature and anything that's hitting the road uh, just freezes. So that's something we'll just keep an eye on. Emily, what do you think? All right, well, it's nice seeing less of a roller coaster this week compared right. to past weeks. Right. Hey, and we're above zero. That's a win in my True. book. I know. I was. I always miss my family in Minnesota, but I'm glad to be in Wisconsin right now because we are above zero. Uh, right. Barely, but... <laughs> I'll take it. Me too. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Eric. You bet. Coming up in sports, the Badgers had a Big Ten battle against Illinois. Cade's got the highlights and the biggest game of the season. The Packers taking on the Lions with a spot in the playoffs on the line. We'll preview this one after the break. Thank you for watching News 8 Lacrosse. Here are tonight's winning Powerball numbers.
This is like a dream. Welcome to Entertainment Tonight. Weeknights at 6.30 on News 8. The countdown to savings is happening now at Ashley. Ring in the new year with new styles for every room of your home. Plus, get five-year special financing, no minimum purchase required. Visit your local Ashley store in Arcadia, Eau Claire, and on Alaska, and the Ashley Outlet in Arcadia. Who's on it with Jardians? Free. Jump. We're the ones getting it done. We're managing type 2 diabetes. <laughs> and heart risk. We're on it with Jardians. Join the growing number of people who are on it with the once daily pill, Jardians. Jardians not only lowers A1C, it goes beyond to reduce the risk of cardiovascular death for adults with type 2 diabetes and known heart disease. And Jardians may help you lose some weight. Jardians may cause serious side effects, including ketoacidosis that may be fatal, dehydration that can lead to sudden worsening of kidney function, and genital yeast or urinary tract infections. A rare life-threatening bacterial infection in the skin of the perineum could occur. Stop taking Jardians and call your doctor right away if you have symptoms of this infection, ketoacidosis, or an allergic reaction. And don't take it if you're on dialysis. Taking Jardians with a sulfonuria or insulin may cause low blood sugar. A one steady pill that goes beyond lowering A1C? We're on it. We're on it. We're on it. We're on it with Jardians. Ask your doctor about Jardians. Your one day is closer than you think. One day, I will fit into that dress. One day, I will play soccer with my son. One day, I will rock that swimsuit. From fresh meals to one-on-one -on -one coaching, Jenny Craig is weight loss made simple. Click or call to learn how to get a free week of food with purchase. Your one day starts today. Make the resolution to get better sleep this year with a new mattress from Ashley. Bring home your choice of comfort on select Ashley Sleep Queen mattresses starting at just $449.99. Visit your local Ashley store in Arcadia, Eau Claire, and on Alaska. And the Ashley Outlet in Arcadia. News 8 Now Sports is brought to you by Mayo Clinic Health System. Here's News 8 Now's Kate Overton. Well, in just 24 hours, Packer fans will be finishing up their Sunday chores and getting ready for Sunday night football. It's been an up and down season for Green Bay, but a win tomorrow night and the Packers will be in the playoffs. It was just seven weeks ago the Packers lost five straight games. There were rumors of Jordan Love getting a chance and that the defense was overrated, but now this defense has really stepped up, creating nine takeaways in the last four games and shutting things down on that side of the ball. And for the offense, the pieces of the puzzle are right in front of them. They've got a good run game. 12 has finally built up some sort of connection with the receivers and tight ends. The offensive line has had flashes of success, and they have one of the best behind center in Aaron Rodgers. They're riding this win streak, and a lot of things can change with a few wins. Most importantly, it brings everyone in the locker room together. That we're winning and we're not losing, like, and we're more happy. We're smiling. Look, you guys are even smiling more. You know what I'm saying? Before it was just like, yeah, man, you lost again. Tell us why you lost. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's all different. Everything is different. So, yeah. We know we're going to get their best shot. We're putting our best foot forward. And, uh, you know, we're going to go out there and perform. Last time these two teams faced off, the 3-5 and five Packers lost to the 1-6 and six Lions 15-9. And who knew that these two teams would have a rematch with a spot in the playoffs on the line? Now for Green Bay, it's simple. A win and they're in as the 7th seed and will face off against San Francisco or Minnesota in round 1. For Detroit, they'll need to win, but they'll also need the Seahawks to lose earlier in the day. But if Seattle wins, then Detroit's playoffs hopes are crushed, which could play a huge part in their game against Green Bay. This one's set to kick off tomorrow night at about 7.20 p.m. All right, switching gears to Minnesota, the Vikings are still fighting for the number two seed. They're going to need some help. If the Vikings get a, the win over Chicago, they can get the two seed with the San Francisco loss. Now, San Francisco is up against the Rams, and that game doesn't kick off until 3.25 in the afternoon. So the Vikings are going to have to play hard no matter what. You have to bring it on Sunday. It doesn't matter who you're playing. It doesn't matter what their record is. It doesn't matter what their standings are or if they're or if they're in the playoffs or not in the playoffs. You got to bring it because um, everybody's fighting for a job. Everybody's fighting. So you heard it from Thielen. They're going to come ready to go. Now the Bears season is over and they can still secure a higher draft pick with a loss. And depending on how the first half goes, it wouldn't surprise me if we saw some of the Viking starters get pulled. But we'll know more tomorrow when this one kicks off at noon.
All right, to the basketball court, 14th ranked Wisconsin taking on Illinois. No Tyler Wall on this one, but Stephen Crowell getting it done early, working the paint and finishing with the fadeaway for the first points of the night. Now, first half winding down, Illinois on the pick and roll, and that's Coleman Hawkins knocking down the three. Illinois on 11-0 run, and it would continue into the second half. Terrence Shannon Jr. shooting from the parking lot and hitting Illinois up 10. The Badgers trying to make a comeback. Chucky Hepburn leading the charge, getting the steal, and then going all the way to the end, other end for the score. Badgers down nine, but Illinois wasn't going to let the comeback happen. Shannon Jr. on the breakaway. He's going to throw this one down with some authority. Illinois wins 79-69. to That's Wisconsin's first loss since November. All right, into the ice, the Minnesota Wild on the road up against the Buffalo Sabres. We're tied at one, but Kirill Kaprizov finds the net. And that takes the lead later in the second. Wild now down by two, but Fr Frederick Goudreau with the perfect pass to Hartman, who puts it in. Now Wild trail by one. And then to the third period, Wild threatening. And Marcus Foliano is going to somehow get this shot to score. And we have a brand new game. We're tied at four. A few minutes later, Wild on the power play. Check out this shot. Joel Erickson on the breakaway. Hits top net. The Wild have the lead five to four, but Buffalo would force overtime and in overtime. Victor Olofsson gives the Sabres the win. What a shot. 6-5 to five is the final. That's all I have for sports. We'll be right back. It's fast food and service with authentic Mexican flavor at Senor Villa. With fun daily specials and cold, refreshing margaritas you won't want to miss. Come to Senor Villa in La Crosse and on Alaska. Authentic Mexican food and flavor. Bring in the new year with Home Furniture's New Year Sale. Get 10% off sale prices plus no money down, six-year special financing, and free shipping when you spend $4.99. The New Year Sale, going on now, only at Home Furniture. A new day has dawned on the all-new Maury's, Audi, and Volkswagen of La Crosse. Feel the luxury of Maury's Audi as soon as you enter the new state-of-the-art Audi dealership. Audi technology and style incorporated into Maury's La Crosse Audi sales and service. Maury's Volkswagen La Crosse features an upbeat, high-tech atmosphere. Having service done, enjoy our relaxing lounge as you wait. Come experience excellence at the new and improved Volkswagen of La Crosse. New building, new location, same friendly staff. Maury's Audi and Volkswagen of La Crosse. Did you know if you turn a cold with Tide, you can save up to $150 a year on your energy bill? How? The lower the temp, the lower your bill. Tide cleans great in cold and saves money? I am so in. Save $150 when you turn to cold with Tide. Mere hours from the hustle and bustle of Midwest hubs, the La Crosse region offers exciting flavors, captivating views, and unparalleled outdoor recreation. Ignite your senses and make memories with those that matter most between the bluffs and along the mighty Mississippi River. Explore La Crosse invites you to join us on WKBT and online at news8000.com as we explore local businesses in our community. No matter your niche, your next adventure is calling and is just a road trip away. When pain says, I'm here, I say, so are they. Just want to leave. 12 hours of uninterrupted pain relief. A leave. Who do you take it for? All Christmas is now on clearance, up to 60% off at Home Seasonal Concepts. It's after Christmas clearance. Stock up on trees, wreaths, garland, and all your Christmas decor at 60% off. Everything Christmas is on clearance at Home Seasonal Concepts, inside all home furniture showrooms. Make it a family dinner night every Sunday at Senior Villa, where kids eat free, one per adult, open to close. And it's a menu you know they'll love. Senior Villa, authentic Mexican food and flavor in La Crosse and on Alaska. No winner means the Mega Millions jackpot grows to $1.1 billion with a B dollars. No one matched all six numbers in Friday's drawing. You may remember back in July, two people won the $1.34 billion prize. The Illinois Lottery says they came forward in September and split the prize. If you'd like to get in on the fun, the next drawing is set for Tuesday, January 10th. And somebody in northwest Wisconsin is $15 million richer for guessing all six numbers of the Megabucks jackpot correctly. Wayne's Food Plus in Luck, Wisconsin sold the winning ticket, which is by far the largest in village history. As Adam Duxter found out, it's been a battle to find out who the mystery, who won. 1,119 people. <laughs> 
$15.1 million. And one store manager. Somebody was lucky. Who still yeah, can't yeah. believe it. It shows up that congratulations to Wayne's Foods in Luck, Wisconsin, selling a $15 million megabucks ticket. I was looking for my ticket, but I didn't have one. In a place this small. Everybody knows somebody. Certainly someone has to know the winner. My mother asked me if I bought a lottery ticket here. <laughs> and I wish I would have known because I would have tricked her. But no, I did not buy one here. Two Powerball and two Mega Millions. Unfortunately for us. I'd have so much fun giving it away. It wasn't Mary Marlette. <laughs> or. I'd leave my house open, walk away, and send some postcards. This guy. <laughs> but rather very community oriented. They care about each other. This village hopes their luck is just getting started. It'd be nice if somebody would do something for the community a little bit to help out and maybe not like a charity thing, but just uh, just kind of improve some of the businesses around here. And as great as $15 million is, let's not forget the Mega Millions drawing is currently over $900 million. So if photojournalist Tom and I aren't at work come next week, don't come looking for us. Oh, to be lucky in luck. Adam Duxter, WCCO 4 News. Well, this is the biggest lottery win in Lux history. It doesn't mean people haven't tried their luck there before. Last year, Wisconsin Lottery sold nearly $590,000 in tickets there. That's about $500 per resident. Looks like it all paid off this time, though. We'll be right back. See the stories you missed or watch them again on our YouTube page or find us at news8000.com. This is our community. And while the present moment may feel unpredictable, we are here to help you stay focused on the future. So stay safe, stay strong, and stay confident with Gillespie and Associates. At Hardee's, no matter what you choose, it's the right choice. Because our new four for six deal lets you make your own combo. Mix and match, then feast or snack on the food you're craving, all for just six bucks. Combine your favorite flavors into the perfect deal with our new four for six menu, only at Hardee's. Looking for a bank that puts you first? Union State Bank is a community-owned bank looking to provide quality products and services to help make your banking easier. We take pride in getting to know our customers and understanding their needs. We are committed to helping you, your family, or your business with all your financial needs. We're here for you and we welcome you to bank with us. Union State Bank, where customers and community come first. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. I didn't realize the impact that CNAs had on other lives. Something so little can make such a big impact. I know that I'm making a positive change in their lives and I'm helping them when they can't always help themselves. You really do make a difference to them. It's rewarding to them. They're happy. Each day when I go home, I know I did something good. Earn while you learn. Free training and a $500 bonus. Sign up today at wiscaregiver.com. January is Radon Awareness Month. Radon is an odorless and invisible radioactive gas. It is the second leading cause of lung cancer with over 21,000 deaths per year. This matters because one out of 15 homes have high levels of radon present, and that one could be yours. Protect your family from this deadly gas by contacting American Water Works today. This message is brought to you by News 8 and American Water Works, keeping our community safe. At Hardee's, no matter what you choose, it's the right choice. Because our new 4 for 6 deal lets you make your own combo. Mix and match, then feast or snack on the food you're craving, all for just 6 bucks. Combine your favorite flavors into the perfect deal with our new 4 for 6 menu, only at Hardee's. Retirement is one of the most important decisions you'll ever make, so you need to get it right. At Gillespie & Associates, we'll design a plan so you can retire on your terms. I'm Private Wealth Advisor Tim Gillespie, and I'm here to help. Upper 20s for tomorrow will be the rule. We'll see mostly sunny skies. Patchy fog not out of the question in the morning. Mid-30s as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday. Snow showers not out of the question Thursday. Emily, I'll say this right now. If I win the Mega Millions, uh, I will not be here tomorrow. I will tell you that right <laughs> now. Oh. Yeah. You know what? what? I heard that you're not going to be here tomorrow. 
no, I canceled that sick day. That's <gasps> oh, okay, okay. So you're trying to you're trying to fool everyone, is what you're doing here, Eric? Is that it? Well, see, I I I, I have the degree to be the weather guy, and that's usually <laughs> what the weather guy's role is. <laughs> okay, Eric. <laughs> thank you, and thank you so much for watching News Eight. We'll see you tomorrow night. We'll be on at ten thirty.